Hey, welcome to the first Titan Core how to play video. In this video, we'll be going over how to use the deck editor and how to save and, and build a deck. So, when you first start up the game, this will be your main screen. It's just something simple. I'm still working on it and all that stuff. But it gets the job done. So, pretty much what you can do is click edit or new. But edit really when you select a deck. A deck. But I think right now, if you click it, it'll still edit, even though there's nothing there. So, pretty much what you want to do is click new. And then you have your deck editor here. It's very basic, very simple. Where if, if you want to like read a card, you can zoom in by right clicking on it. Or if you want to search for specific words, you just type in this box here. And up here is where you want, if you want to save your deck. So pretty much, uh, you, you get to put 40 cards in a deck, but as you may notice, you have the number 40 and the number 15 here. When building a deck, you're required to have a minimum of 15 uncommon cards in your deck. And you can tell a card is uncommon by the color and its rarity, like see it has a green outline green text and there's three little green symbols this also indicates how many copies you can put in a deck so we can put in by left clicking three copies and if you want to remove a card all you have to do is go over it and right click I think you can technically play this on the Mac but you're gonna have to have a, a mouse that can emulate the left click I don't have a Mac, so I wouldn't be able to know. So yeah, pretty much let's just grab all our uh, un or common cards, not uncommon. Okay, we'll just do this, and then we can we'll just pick a few random rares, and we have and for legendaries you can only do one copy, right? So okay, twenty-five. I guess, I guess we'll just shove everything in here and we'll worry about building it later. It's just meant to be... Is that everything? Yep, okay, we, we, we ran out of red cards, so now we'll just go over to the gray cards by clicking the colored gray symbol here. Because as you may notice, there's colors of each cards. We could do other colors too but since we're full of red cards it makes more sense just to do gray right so just grab a few random cards <laughs> okay we are at our limit so now all we do oh wait we still have one more thing to do is pick our champion not champion abilities our our player abilities or the hero powers so what you want to do is first go back to the color red because we're picking red ability powers. You click on red. I know this is a little com uh, complicated. I'll try to simplify it later. Then you would click on this symbol. Then you have two uh, abilities you can choose. We'll pick this one and then we pick our secondary one which is this one. The idea for this is that we, we can customize ourselves to be and give us more choices and options each turn. So. I don't know, in, like in Hearthstone, I wanted to maybe be a paladin and a warrior, so maybe I wanted to also play 1-1s, one right? Or, and gain armor and all that jazz, right? I just wanted to have more, had more customization, so, because like, we, let's, we have green here, right? We can just replace it with a green one if we wanted to. But, it would be more realistic right now to do red. So yeah, we have, we have 15 commons, 40 cards in, in total two hero powers or hero bi champion abilities player abilities whatever now we just click save and now our deck is saved here and to load it up we would click here it will be it'll show up right here and now we can click play but if we do a new deck just not put everything together saved 
and we try to click play, won't allow it. Won't allow it. So yeah, uh, that's it for this video. I'll now go over how to uh, join or start a, your own game.